DNS server not responding how to fix the error in Windows 10. I think it's safe to say that the vast majority of professionals depend on the internet these days. So being denied access to the internet when you are trying to mine nuggets of valuable information from your go-to websites can be quite an ordeal. Especially when you are under pressure to complete a piece of urgently required work. One particularly unwelcome cause of being denied access to the internet is the DNS server not responding error. It's like that old fable where a troll sits under a bridge and says you shall not pass, or something about gobbling up those that wish to cross the bridge. I end this video, I'm happy to tell you that you should be able to defeat the troll and cross the bridge to internet access joy by following the simple troubleshooting steps. What is the DNS server not responding error? The DNS server not responding error is a fairly common issue and is generally easy to fix. There are many reasons why this issue may occur. But fundamentally it is caused because the DNS server that is contacted during the processes of loading a web page is unable to find the site that contains the web page that you have requested. This video explores what may have triggered this issue to occur and how you may go about fixing the issue. Firstly, I think it is a good idea to gain at least a basic understanding of the DNS server not responding error. To do this, let's first understand DNS. DNS stands for Domain Name System. A simple explanation of DNS is that it is a decentralized storage of human-readable internet addresses, like the ones with which you will almost certainly be familiar, for example www.amazon.com or www.netflix.com. The DNS maps these human-readable URLs to their appropriate IP, internet protocol, addresses. IP addresses are much less human-readable, but are essential for the inner workings of the internet. IP addresses uniquely identify computers on the internet. The IP address associated with the URL, www.netflix.com, might for example, look like this, 69.53.224.255. It is clearly easier for you to remember www.netflix.com, rather than a string of numbers delimited by full stops, when you wish to access your favorite content on Netflix. So the DNS facilitates this for you so that you don't have to remember or manually look up on friendly strings of numeric data every time you wish to access a website. When the DNS server not responding error occurs, this means that the decentralized naming systems responsible for automatically looking up the appropriate IP address based on the relevant hostname that you entered into your browser fails to respond. There are many reasons why this error occurs, but fortunately there are also many solutions available to you to fix the issue. An easy solution may be to simply change the web browser you are using or even simpler still, simply restart your computer. Yup, simply turning it off and then turning it on again could fix the issue. However, if you are not so lucky and the problem still persists, don't despair there are many steps that you can take to find out the cause of the issue and subsequently fix it. In this video, you will learn a number of possible solutions to the DNS server not responding error. The common analogy to explain DSN is a telephone directory. Basically, as you would look up a telephone number using the name of the person you wish to call in a telephone directory, a similar lookup is performed when you type in the URL like www.amazon.com of the website you wish to view within your browser. Thankfully you don't have to manually look up the corresponding IP address for www.amazon.com as this is performed behind the scenes for you automatically. So the appropriate IP address is retrieved automatically every time you type in a URL into your browser. This IP address is then used to contact the appropriate server that hosts the relevant website associated with the URL you have entered into your browser. How to fix DNS server not responding The ways that you can try using to fix the DNS server not responding error. Use a different web browser. Try accessing a website with a different device. Restart your router. Investigate possible network issues. Manually set your DNS server. Clear the DNS cache. Disable Internet Protocol version 6. Temporarily deactivate your firewall and disable your antivirus software. Reset your DNS settings. Update the network adapter driver. Disable all network connections except the connection you are using to access the Internet. Restart your computer in safe mode. 
use a different web browser. A potential solution to the DNS server not responding issue that's really simple is to try accessing the relevant website using a different browser. If, for example, you are using Microsoft Edge or Mozilla Firefox as your browser at the time that the issue occurs, try using a different browser like Google Chrome to access the relevant website. If using a different browser solves the problem, then make the browser that works your default browser. But if the issue still persists, then we at least know that the browser you have been using is not the source of the issue and our investigation into finding a solution to the DNS server not responding issue must continue. Try accessing a website with a different device. Try to use a different device connected to your home network to access the website you were trying to access when you received the error. For example, use Wi-Fi from your mobile phone to access the relevant website. If the issue persists, you know that the issue isn't just with your primary device and the problem may have something to do with your router. Restart your router. The DNS server not responding issue may occur simply due to data traffic. It may be that simply restarting your router can fix this issue. You can restart your router by pressing the power button on your router. You can then unplug your router's power cable. Wait for about 30 seconds then plug your router into the power outlet again and press the power button to restart it. Investigate possible network issues. Running network diagnostics may point to network issues as the root cause of the issue. Running network diagnostic is very simple on a Windows 10 OS. You can do this by following these steps. Open control panel. One way to do this is press the Windows key plus add to activate the ROM box, then type control in the text box presented in the ROM box and hit the enter key. Select the network and internet option presented within the control panel window. Click the Network and Sharing Center option from within the Network and Internet window. Click the Troubleshoot Problems option presented under the Change Your Network Settings heading within the Network and Sharing Center window. Click Additional Troubleshooters dash Internet Connections dash Run the Troubleshooter. The next step is to wait for the Troubleshooter task to finish. If you are presented with any error messages, simply follow the steps on how to fix the relevant network issue. Manually set your DNS server. The source of your issue may be that your DNS server is down. In this case you'll be pleased to know that you are able to manually change your DNS server. You can change your DNS server to, for example, Google's public DNS or Cloudflare's public DNS. To change your DNS server, follow these steps. Invoke your control panel. One way to invoke your control panel is to activate your start menu and search for the control panel. In the control panel window click the network and internet option. In the Network and Internet window, click the Network and Sharing Center option. On the Network and Sharing Center window, click on your active connection. For example, click the Ethernet option if this is the connection currently being used or click the Wi-Fi option if it is clear that this is your active connection. In the dialog box that is presented to you, click the Properties button. In the dialog presented to you, you'll see a list is presented under the, the connection uses the following items heading. In this list, Select the list item labeled Internet Protocol version 4, TCP slash IPv4, then click the Properties button. You will be presented with another dialog box where you'll see two fields. One will be labeled Preferred DNS Server, and the other which is directly under this field will be labeled Alternate DNS Server. First click the Use the following DNS Server Addresses radio button. To use Google's public DNS server, Enter 8.8.8.8 in the field labeled Preferred DNS Server and enter 8.8.4.4 into the field labeled Alternate DNS Server. You are also able to use Cloudflare's DNS Server for the same purpose. Cloudflare's DNS address is simply 1.1.1.1. Once you have entered your desired DNS Server settings, ensure that the Validate Settings upon Exit checkbox is checked. Click the OK button to save your new DNS Server settings. Restart your computer. Clear the DNS cache. You are able to flush the DNS cache which may resolve the DNS server not responding issue. This action will clear IP addresses and other DNS related data from your cache. You can clear the DNS cache by running a command using your command prompt. One way to invoke the command prompt is to press window key plus add to invoke the ROM box. Type CMD within the ROM box and press Shift plus Ctrl plus Enter to run the command prompt as an administrator. At the command prompt, type in the following command, IP protocol configuration slash flushings and then press the Enter key. If the command has executed successfully, you see the appropriate message in the command window. 
Disable Internet Protocol Version 6 Internet Protocol Version 6 is the latest version of the Internet Protocol. Disabling the Internet Protocol Version 6 will not have detrimental effect on your computer's operations, but it's been known to fix the DNS server not responding issue. To disable the Internet Protocol Version 6 on a Windows 10 operating system, just follow these steps. Go to Control Panel Dash Network and Internet Dash Network and Sharing Center. Click on the relevant connection, for example Wi-Fi. Click the Properties button on the dialog that is presented to you. In the list presented under the disk connection uses the following items heading, uncheck the item labeled Internet Protocol version 6, TCP slash IPv6. Press the OK button. Temporarily deactivate your firewall and disable antivirus. If your firewall is Defender, you can follow these steps to disable it. To open Control Panel, press Windows key plus R to activate the ROM box, then type Control in the text box presented in the ROM box and hit the Enter key. In the top right hand text box, type in Win. An option labeled Windows Defender Firewall should appear in the search results. Click the Windows Defender Firewall option. Click the Allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall option. Click the Change Settings button. From the list presented to you within the dialog box that has just been invoked, find the browser that you are using, for example Google Chrome. Then make sure that both the private and public checkboxes next to the relevant item are checked. Once you've done this, try to access the relevant website using the relevant browser and see if the issue has been fixed. There is a chance that your firewall was preventing you from accessing external data through your browser. Note that it is not recommended to leave your operating system unprotected by reliable antivirus software indefinitely. Disabling your antivirus software in this instance is only recommended for testing if the relevant antivirus software is the cause of the DNS server not responding issue. To temporarily turn off Microsoft Defender Antivirus Protection, follow these steps. Select Start and then type in Windows Security in order to search for the relevant application. Select Windows Security app from the search results. Go to Virus and Threat Protection. Under Virus and Threat Protection settings, select Manage Settings. Switch Real-Time Protection off. Attempt to access the relevant website through the relevant browser to test if the DNS server not responding issue still occurs. Reset DNS settings. To reset your DNS settings, follow these steps. Run the command prompt as an administrator. To do this, activate the ROM box by pressing Windows key plus R. In the ROM box, type CMD and press Shift plus Control plus Enter. Type the following commands in the command prompt. After entering each command, press the Enter key so that each command is run individually. IP protocol configuration slash registrants. IP protocol configuration slash release. IP protocol configuration slash renew. Netch Winsock reset. Once you have run these commands, close the command prompt and restart your computer. Update the network adapter driver. You can manually update your network adapter driver, but it is much easier to automate this task. You can automate this through the use of free software like Driver Easy. Simply download the free version of this software. Make sure that before you run the free version of the Driver Easy software that you create a system restore point. This provides you with insurance, so in the unlikely event that you encounter a nasty surprise that adversely affects your computer, that you are able to return your Windows OS back to the state that it was in before you ran the Driver Easy software and encountered an unexpected issue. To use the Driver Easy software, follow these steps. Run the software. Click the Scan Now button. Press the Update button next to any outdated drivers. Disable all network connections except for the connection that you are using. Disabling the additional network connections you may have set up on your computer other than, for example, the Wi-Fi connection that you are using to access the internet might fix the DNS server not responding issue. To disable the relevant network connection, follow these steps. Firstly, you must access your network connections. To access your network connections, press Windows key plus R to invoke the ROM box. In the ROM box, type in po.cpl and press Enter. Right-click the relevant network connection and select Disable from the relevant context menu. Repeat this action until all connections except for the Wi-Fi connection you are using are disabled. Restart your computer in safe mode. When you start your computer in safe mode, this means the Windows operating system loads with a limited set of drivers and files. This can help you diagnose what is causing your DNS server not responding issue through a process of illumination, as it were. 
So to start your PC in safe mode, follow these steps. Press the Windows key plus I to open settings. Select update and security dash recovery. Under advanced startup, select restart now. Once your PC has start up to the choose an option screen, select troubleshoot dash. Advanced options dash startup settings dash restart. Once your PC has restarted you will see a list of options. Select 5 or press F5 for safe mode with networking. Try to access the website that resulted in you getting the DNS server not responding issue. If the problem does not occur in safe mode this means that additional software may be the cause of the issue. You can uninstall any additional software from your PC, one by one, and then test to see if the issue still occurs. If the issue does not occur after uninstalling particular software, this means that it is likely that this software was interfering with your internet access. The DNS server not responding issue is relatively common and thankfully it is also relatively easy to fix. It can be incredibly inconvenient to be denied access to the internet but hopefully the potential solutions outlined in this video will help you to once again have access to your favorite websites.